Welcome World of Warcraft fans to another episode of Casual Encounters. This is episode 8.1. Uh, so there's been a heck of a lot of news um, that came out. Well, I want to call it news. I guess more confirmation, more details, I guess. Uh, you know, about all the stuff that's coming to Warlords of Draenor. Uh, there hasn't been really too too much I guess that um, you know when it comes in terms of actual uh, you know things well no they do make the things that make the game uh, more tolerable uh, more uh, you know more player player friendly and stuff like that um, and uh, so this week uh, kids are off on their spring break uh, and uh, I'm not this might be my only episode this week unless you know some some really you know big stuff comes out that I really really want to you know to sink my teeth into um, but uh, so I guess uh, they had a big uh, dev water cooler they call it pruning the garden of war and uh, basically just a bunch of details the stuff we kind of knew was coming already stuff they've mentioned before in generalities uh, and uh, so basically they just gave a lot of details on the stat squish uh, starting off like uh, you know so they said you know here just it's just an example of this of the statue I'm not gonna get into the whole thing uh, just an example so they said so if a fireball uh, previously hit a creature for 450,000 out of its 3 million health, 15% of its health, uh, may now hit that same creature for 30,000 uh, out of its 200,000 health, still 15% of its health. So, yeah, just, I mean, that's what we knew, right? I mean, we didn't know the exact numbers or anything like that, but at least we'll have some sort of idea. Um, it's, who cares? Right? That's the way I see it. I know a lot of people are like, eh, I'm, I'm losing power, I'm losing power. No, you're not. Everybody's... You are, but so is, every, so is everything and everyone. So, it doesn't matter. It just means the numbers are just more significant now. They just mean something. Instead of, instead of saying like these, you know, if they would have kept it going, I mean, look, they had that like level... I mean, it was ridiculous. They, they're they showing like this graph and it's like, here, uh, level 90. So, here's like... So here's, I'll do it here. So line, deep, 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 you know, here's this line of power, you know, 50, uh, 50, 55, 60, 70. It wasn't even that much. It wasn't even a big, you know, 80 went up a little bit. 85 went up a little bit. 90 went up quite a bit. And then they're showing like 100, like level 100, the power would be like way the heck up here. So... I mean, it, it was just going to get ridiculous, right? So they really, really had to do this kind of squish. Otherwise, we'd be like hitting crits in the billions or something. And I'm sure lots of people would love to see that. But it's just, it doesn't make any sense. It's, the numbers just aren't going to mean anything anymore at that point. So, yeah, item squish, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. That's my that's my take on that. Item squish, it's 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 a good thing. Uh, you know, the numbers are just going to be more, read, you know, readable. You know, we'll be able to we'll be, I'll understand those numbers a little bit better. Uh, you know, and it's, you know, it's, it, those numbers to me are a little like, I don't know, they sound like cata numbers to me, right? You're hitting, uh, you know, it's, you're 450k crit now is going to do 30. So yeah, sounds like a sounds a bit like a cat number to me. So, I don't know. It's going to go back to that. I mean, it's good, you know? Let's just too much. Numbers were just getting ridiculous. They were already at a mil people hitting critting for like a million or something. So, I've seen, you know, people doing it when huge mobs, you know, I've seen some mages and warlocks and stuff doing like a million DPS. It's like okay, yeah, it's cool to look at. Hey, I'm doing a million. But it, it's all relative. It's all relative. It doesn't matter. Um, next, uh, next thing they talked about. They gave a bunch of uh, they gave a bunch of details about the uh, racial traits. Uh, so uh, I'm not gonna. I'm actually not gonna get too 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 much into detail. You can look that up and uh, you know. So so basically, all they're doing, um, they're they're just they're just making it so that all the races 
are are basically equal uh, when it comes to to power because before what was going on is a lot of people didn't really feel like they had a, a, a real choice when it came to what race they wanted so basically like the real real super hardcore people felt oh man I gotta I'm gonna have to I have to go on the horde side because I have to choose an orc uh, for the blood fury and you know whatever and uh, and I had to choose a troll for the haste buff or whatever so and you know what maybe people don't I mean yeah I'm sure there's lots of people who like orcs and trolls that's great and if they want to play that super but because of the power the extra power that these guys had just from the racials I think a lot of people felt that they had to play them and I think that's that's just what they want to get rid of and I think it's really really good uh, little things like the um, the gnomes for example their uh, their extra their 5% uh, mana their extra mana that they get it's uh, it's it's now not just gonna be mana it's going to be mana or rage or energy or runic power depending on obviously what class you're playing so that's great you know I mean this way people you know people they they like to play a night elf they want to play a gnome they want to play uh, you know a human whatever the case may be uh, and, well, and obviously they took out all they had they had to make changes anyway right because a lot of the stuff had hit and expertise and stuff like that may specialization sword specializations with the extra expertise and, and hit and stuff so they had to take that out anyway so you know what you might as well just flatten everything out give everybody sort of like this even but and you know yeah a lot of people might say it takes out some of the you know uniqueness or whatever to play but but it's it's not uniqueness if it's op if one class if one race has certain ability like racial traits that just make them more powerful that's that's not you're 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 just taking away choices for people who really want to do that min maxing and or just really want to say oh i'm playing this class that means i gotta choose this race so i think it's it's uh it's a really really good idea um so yeah i good on you good on that that's got to be done uh after that uh they talked a lot about uh, ability pruning uh they talked about this before um so basically, you know, they're they're going to take away about twenty percent of abil on average twenty percent of abilities. Um, it doesn't mean you're gonna have it. It doesn't mean it's gonna dumb down the game or anything. You gotta think, you know, over time, over the last ten years, they've been just adding and adding and adding over whatever five expansions it was, uh, and you know, it's it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I, I talked about this before. Um, and it's crazy. There's just so many buttons and there's so many things that people just macro together. So they're going to pare some of this stuff down. People, things that people use together, they will, uh, you know, they're just going to put them together or they're going to remove them completely and try to, you know, and they're, I think they want to take out some of the, um, uh, they want to kind of lessen the uh, offensive cooldowns. Uh, so that you don't you can't just okay boom a burst damage here go go you know this is part of the fight well so I guess what that means is is that you know they're gonna have to they'll have to remove that that part of the you know I guess part of the raiding uh, mechanics where there's certain parts where you have to you know do that super nuts DPS I mean now they'll put in that mechanic to um, They'll put in the mechanic because there's so many people have these offensive abilities, so that you know now, you know people push 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 that DPS at that particular point. Now they're going to be removing some of it, so I guess you're just going to have to be a little more careful, choosy when you use those cooldowns. Um, you know, maybe they'll separate. Maybe they will still have the mechanic there, but maybe it's going to be less. Or there's going to be maybe one particular part of a fight where you, you need that cooldown and you better save that one offensive cooldown you have if you even still have it. You know, maybe it's not going to be everybody. Maybe that's why you're going to need to bring different, you know. So, it's, again, 
it, bringing down these abilities, bringing all this stuff down to a, a more manageable amount so that, you know, you're not sitting there looking at your keyboard going, oh my God, where's my ability? Um, you know, that's good. I, I think it's good. Um, there's still going to be a ton out there. Like I said, it, it kind of went oh, it, after this, you know, five, well, five expansion, four expansions. It's after vanilla. So five, right? You know, they've added all these you know they just keep adding and adding and adding so it's good it's good I, I i think they really needed to do that um so yeah good on them again again good on them um what else crowd control i guess this is a lot more uh pvp oriented um and i guess it was you know a lot of people you know, you might go into PvP for the first time, and if you go up to someone with a little bit more experience or a group of more experience, and they got all kinds of CC, I mean, you can sit there, uh, stunned, stunned, froze, rooted, and you can't even do anything. It's, it, you know, they want, you know, you gotta, you, you gotta be able to play. You gotta have a chance. And if these people are just so that good, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously when you get to the top and everybody's doing this and trying to counteract it and the whole thing, but I think for a lot of people to have a certain party member or something like that just totally out of the game, uh, it's it probably just wasn't really good. It just wasn't fun. It wasn't good, interesting gameplay. Um now it they're they're you're you're gonna have to, again kind of like the offensive cooldown thing you're gonna have to be a little more selective it's gonna be you know maybe even some people you know like i said before a lot of people would complain about dumbing down the game and all this stuff but i think it's actually gonna make it uh, you have even more strategic in a way because instead of just you know sp spamming freaking uh you know cc's on people you know, you, you, you're, you're going to have to wait for that opportune moment. You know, you know, you have less offensive cooldowns now. So now you're going to have to time everything right. You're going to have to like, okay, all right, everybody, you know, okay. At this moment, I'm going to CC this guy. We're going to CC the healer. And, you know, but you're going to have to wait for that right moment. You're going to have to wait till maybe somebody's health is kind of low. You know, you have to wait for that, just that right moment. And you're going to get that one CC off on him off the off on the healer and then you can use maybe that one offensive cooldown you have and you're gonna have to take that time now you know it's it, it's, it's some people you know it now and i think they're it's so it's gonna be more active more activity for all players uh it means that people are gonna be able to move and you know react to things and stuff like that so that's a good thing and um what was i gonna say Oh yeah, so and you know, and with I think they've they've uh, they shortened the time that the dampening effect is going to come in, so you know, so that there'll be after it's going to require less time for healing to start take having less effect. So I guess that could sort of counteract that if 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 the CCs, if the lack of CCs are like preventing people from killing people faster, then well, then the lack of healing I guess will have to counteract that. So, at least that'll be, still keep people active and not just sit there and not being able to do anything. So, uh, it's, that, I think it's a good thing. Again, that's good. Um, so, what are, what are some of the specifics of that? Oh, yeah, they're taking out disarm. They're removing the disarms. Um, they're removing, uh, removing silent effects from interrupts. Uh, the silence still exists, but never attached to an interrupt. So I guess if you interrupt it, then you're not going to be silenced. And if there's, maybe there's going to be silence, but then there won't be an interrupt. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to work that out. Um, uh, reduce the number of diminishing return categories, uh, which means that more CCs are going to fall into the same categories, right? So, you know, it, it just means that, you know, instead of just being one you know this well i sheep them and now okay i can't sheep them anymore but maybe i can do something else to them but they're going to pair some of this stuff together so that uh that diminishing return you know again it's just a less cc that that's basically what they're doing less cc people could just play the game uh, in pvp and again when it comes to pve it's not 
really going to matter that much because they're just going to they're going to you know when they're doing pve content when they're creating the PvE, pve content they know this stuff is is happening so it might require less cc or interrupts or silences or whatever not that bosses usually get silence anyway but you know uh the the encounters this will all be taken into effect all, into account i mean and uh for PvE, it's it's not really gonna make a huge huge difference, I don't think. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean that that's that's a lot of the stuff that in this big dev water cooler thing they talk about. Um, a lot of good changes. I think it's uh, gonna make more interesting play. Um, and another thing that uh, that came out afterwards, uh, they were talking about talents, and so there's gonna be. I guess more class specific, uh, no, not class specific, spec specific talents. So instead of, for example, one of the examples they used was uh, instead of having, let's say, uh, I'm a mage, so I know this one. Instead of having the the choose between the th three different mage orbs, you, you know, you have your 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 fire orb or your frost orb or your nether 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 tempest orb or whatever. It's just going to be a mage bomb, right? You choose ma your mage bomb, and depending on which spec you're in, that's the one you're going to get. So if you're a frost mage, you're going to get the frost orb. If you're fire, you're going to get the frost one, the fire one, and another tempest for the arcane one. And then, so what that's going to do is going to open up um, two two more slots possibilities. So you're either going to choose your bomb, or they're going to have some two other things. Uh, so they're going to have so you regardless so it's gonna matter which spec you're in so now it right now it doesn't matter which spec you're in you're always gonna have the same choices of talents so now depending on which spec you're in you'll have different choices of talents and because kind of the way it is now sometimes you just look at them as why would i use this in this spec it doesn't even make sense so so i guess they want to you know this is going to give people more choices and all i hope is that um you know they they keep to that that whole thing where you know this is not better than as long as they keep them evenly powered all your choices whatever they are have them evenly powered so that they can each person can just choose their what they like as opposed to what they should have that's great i i, I hope and i i think they will I, I think that's what 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 their whole point is uh because otherwise like I said, you have three specs and maybe, you know, out of those three choices that you have, only one of them is useful for your spec. And of course, you're going to choose it. So you're not having, you're not really making a choice. You got to choose that one. So if they make them spec specific, that's great because now you're going to say, okay, these are all good for my spec. It's just a matter of which one do, would, which style do I like? What's my style? You know, what's my style of play and how do I want to put that in there? So I think that's really good um uh what else uh so yeah i mean it, it's all good stuff i mean it's a it's a lot of interesting stuff that's coming out i think uh, they're really really going in the right direction for warlords of draenor uh, as i mentioned in uh, one of my previous episodes last week talking about the proving grounds uh i think it's definitely a step in the right direction um the only the only thing and i i may have said this before and you know but it's okay because i think it's kind of important to say um with the proving grounds uh being sort of a gateway or a test to get into random heroics um i personally don't think it should be scaled like i don't think they should scale it like the proving grounds now it's fine because it's just your own you know, every it's just sort of an even playing ground for everything, regardless of your gear. You can just, yeah, hey, I got the silver medal. That's your talent. Or I got this many waves and, and whatever. I got, you know, bronze, silver, gold. I did this many waves in, in eternal or whatever the heck it's called. Uh, in, in Infinite. I don't remember what it's called. Endless. Endless. Right? So that's good that's that's just like a your own person it's a test right it's like a it's it's a it's a skill test it's you know totally totally but if this is a gateway or a, a test to get into heroics i don't understand why won't they just make this so get uh a certain just make it a certain difficulty right 
uh, but don't scale the gear. Just make it as difficult or maybe a little less, a tiny bit less difficult uh, than what an actual heroic would be. But let people, for those people who maybe need to gear up a little bit more, so if they can, so either you, you have two ways, right? You can either, if you have the low gear, but you can accomplish it anyway, you can get let into those heroics because you were able to defeat that content at that level, regardless. Now, maybe if silver for certain people, I mean, I'm not too worried about it for myself. I mean, I, I, I did silver on each i've got silver on you know my mage dps my tanking bear and my resto druid okay my resto spec for my druid as well i got the silver on all of them came very very close to the tanking one for gold but i didn't and i probably could have gotten it by now but i just sort of said ah i just didn't feel like doing it anymore so i didn't but uh i i don't know maybe maybe silver might be a little bit difficult for some people uh if it's always scaled down but I, I, I think that people should have the opportunity that if they have ways to gear up and kind of out gear that, you know, that thing, that means that they were going to be, they're going, if they can beat it with that gear, then they should be able to get into the heroics. You understand? I mean, it's like, what does it matter how? As long as they're not causing a problem for the people that they're joining up with. If they can overpower the dungeon because they got better gear, as long as they can do it, as long as they can, if, if you know, if they can get past this test because they have better gear, then they can probably do the same thing in a heroic. They, if they're good enough, their character is good enough, then it should be good enough, uh, you know, regardless of their actual talent. Uh, if they can get past that difficulty, it's because in heroic, your gear is going to matter your gear is what's going to count so it should matter for that too that's my opinion um again i mean it's it's still it's still a step in the right direction um i think i think at least and and you know what it i mean i'm not it's it's still good because this will really really push people to to learn their class obviously and if they do make it a really good teaching tool then then it may it, it could turn out better i mean you know, but I still think it would be kind of nice. Is the whole point of it is, well, I guess there could be different multiple points to it, right? One, you don't want to, you know, ruin other people's experience by having a bad person go into your heroic just because they have uh, a certain level of gear, and you don't want to prevent people from going in because they have a certain level of gear. Um, but at the same, you know, but I think people should be able to you know, acquire gear elsewhere, as long as they can beat that difficulty, I think they should be able to get in. But, hey, it's still good. It's still a good thing. And, uh, you know, it, it hopefully it'll just teach people more. I, I just I just hope that the, it's not going to just keep a lot of people out and then when they really want to do those heroics, they really want to get into them. I mean, they're still going to be able to do them on normal, you know, so they have that and then move to LFR and stuff. So hopefully, hopefully it all works out. So anyways, that's uh, about it for today. Um, you can always uh, email me at wow at wow on my mind at gmail.com. Um, I am uh, on Nazgrel server, um, which is connected with uh, Vaknalesh and Nessingwary. Um, I have uh, my Druid power shift and my Mage Idimit, which is Timothy spelled backwards. Um, and I have my Paladin, which is still level 60 because I haven't seen my boost yet. Still waiting. This is a lot longer than I expected. Hopefully tomorrow morning. So it's Tuesday tomorrow and well, it's technically Tuesday today, but the servers haven't been reset yet. So I'm hoping when they do it, the uh, pre-orders will come out. I mean, they came out with all this stuff last week talking about the beta coming soon. So hopefully... It'll be here Well, I'll get our level 90 boosts and next week or maybe later this week or something. I can talk about that and how that experience was. So, have a good night, everybody.